Okay, today is March 30th, 2014, and this is Harold Lehman. I'm giving an update. I, I set up these cells a week ago, and what I did was I took these nano-coated wire, which is a, just a scouring pad, copper-plated steel scouring pads, and I nano-coated them using sodium hydroxide, and according to Maharan Kesh's process, and then uh, on the other terminal I have uh, just a regular stainless steel bravo pad, or well, scouring pad, and uh, so I made these electrodes, and what I've done is I've put these electrodes into these bins, I have 16 of them, and uh, all I have in them is, is sodium, uh, sodium chloride, just regular rock salt, and uh, 16 of them, and as I was saying, I've had them going for five days now, so there's quite a heavy coating uh, at the bottom of the nanomaterial. And if I zoom in here a little bit, uh, I don't want to, here you can see, I don't want to move my tripod here because I had something more important about this I want to show. But this is the setup I have. Simple salt water with these dado coated electrodes and stainless steel electrodes combined. And what I've done with it is I've got it running two blue LEDs. And here's the two blue LEDs that I'm running with it. <clears throat> they're right there. Well, they're kind of hard to see in the camera because, but you can pair with my finger if I zoom in on those. Okay, and if I can get this right here, it's kind of hard to see the blue because of the uh, the angle of the camera, but uh, they're quite bright. They're very unidirectional, so you have to look right into the, into them to really see them lit up. But yeah, I got two of those lit up, and I've got. An analog meter that I've got hooked up here and it's on the 50 volt scale. Now I'm going to set it to the 10 volt scale and as you can see on the 10 volt scale, I zoom out a little bit, I'm just under 5 volts but what I find out is the reason I'm just under 5 volts is because these LEDs act as a voltage regulator. Two LEDs, each one is about a two and a half volt voltage drop. If I take them, unhook them, the voltage goes up slightly. Uh, if I leave it, it'll even go up more as the uh, energy builds up. But, oh, I just unhooked my meter here. Uh, hook my lead back up here. Okay, now that's on the five volt scale. But I like to leave it on the 50 volt scale because it uh, it gives, makes the LEDs light up a, a lot brighter and I like to see that. But here's the most important thing I've also done is I have hooked up an oscilloscope. I got a USB digital oscilloscope hooked up to my computer and if I show you what I'm looking at here, I zoom in, if I zoom in on the bottom of the oscilloscope, you can see we are frequency, these are the frequencies we're getting. It's uh, at this range I'm in, uh, the range I'm in on the oscilloscope, maybe I should show that first. Over here at the top of the digital oscilloscope, okay. I'm in the 20 millivolt range and if I go up to the top um, I don't know if I can see that very well I am in the 1.00 millisecond range that's what I have it set at right now now I've tried this in all kinds of different ranges and I get interesting readouts throughout the entire range but here we got, we're getting, in this range, I'm getting this frequency of around the 50 kilohertz. It keeps jumping, 100 kilohertz, 
keeps jumping around. It basically keeps showing me the same frequencies though, over and over again, so that must mean something. Now, and the top one is the, the microseconds as well, rise, and then we go over to the other side, and here I am reading AC volts. Uh, peak to peak, you're seeing 45 millivolts, 49 millivolts, just somewhere around between 40 and 50 millivolts. And at the top is the V top. Okay, the very top of the waveform gets up to 20 millivolts, you know, 19, 20 millivolts. That's the top of the waveform. So now we're going to zoom out because now I have something very interesting. This is AC. Okay, one thing this tells me, I'm picking up AC volts from these cells. Now, that definitely tells me that these cells are not a chemical reaction. I don't know of any battery that puts out AC voltage, okay? And especially at these interesting waveforms. Now, I'm going to show you something else though. I have the lights off in this room on purpose because I want to demonstrate something absolutely amazing. I'm about to turn on a light, and watch what happens as soon as I turn the light on. I turn the light. Okay, now to, to demonstrate this better, um, I'm going to set this at, oh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to unhook the LEDs so we can see this waveform a little better. Okay, here's what I get when I have a light on. Now I'm going to turn the light brightness up. You see that? Now I'm going to turn the light to full brightness. Now I'm going to turn the light completely off. Now I got the LED turned off. I should be able to see this reaction better. See, this is with the lights off. Just the room uh, daylight light, because this is in, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's a sunny day out, but the windows are all covered up here. Now, light on. More light on. Full light on, and as you can see, this is definitely responding to light. All lights off, light, more light, full light, off. Now, okay, something just got clicked in again. See, I never, this is totally unpredictable. I never know. Now, with this really big waveform going, same thing. Now, more light on, full light on. Well, here's full light, and so the voltage just jumped. Something probably made better contact. I don't know, but we're definitely, and then now the light's off again. So this is a very, very clear, full brightness, lights off, little bit of light, full light, more light, full. So what I'm going is I'm going from one light to four lights to five lights to the light, to the lights off. So there you go. I'll, I'll leave it at one light. Maybe I'm going to leave it at the full lights. So now I'm getting this very, very strong um, waveform. Now I want to keep this video, I'm at eight and a half minutes, so I do want to keep it down so that I can uh, get it on, on YouTube, 10 minute range. Now I just put it down to 50 millivolt per division, and of course there's another thing I need to do here, and that is I want to zoom in on the voltage. And here's what we're getting at this range. Over 300, over 300 millivolts AC. Now that, to me, is absolutely mind-boggling exciting. A solar panel, basically, that runs on AC. I mean, you build a big enough one of these and you could hook it directly up to a transformer and transform it to whatever power you need. Okay, I'm getting to the, to the nine and a half minute. I'm going to cut out here. Thank you for watching. This is Harold Walter Lehman of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, signing out.